Love Auto here, and today we're going to be exploring our created home worksheet, which is a choice menu that you can find in a previous video or inside of our Google Classroom. The activity that we're focusing on today is creating our own watercolor paint by soaking dried markers in water overnight. The materials we're going to need today are going to be used markers, an empty container or water bottle, water, and optional rubbing alcohol, which I have right here. You can find this in your medicine cabinet. Okay. The purpose of us doing this activity is for those of you that do not have watercolor at home, watercolor paint, you can use these um, mixtures to paint with at a later time. Okay, so the first thing I do is I go around my house and I collect old dried out markers that no longer work. Then I test them out like on a scrap sheet of paper, seeing which ones are dried out so that way I can use for my paint mixture. Okay, now what I've already done is I went ahead and filled up a container. This can be a water bottle, an old uh, jug of water, anything really that um, you can close later so that we can store the paint. And what I've already done is filled it up with water. So now what I'm gonna do is take off all the tops and face them down into the water. Okay, so the point where you draw with, that is gonna be facing down into the water. Okay, next, this part is optional. And what the alcohol does is when you add it to the water mixture, it kills any germs that are gonna be on the outside of the marker. So for example, when we touch a marker, the germs from our hands um, transfer onto the plastic of the marker. And if you don't put alcohol into this mixture and you keep this watercolor paint for too long, what those germs do with the water is they start to grow mold into the water. So if you don't have alcohol at home, that's okay. I would suggest not using your watercolor for more than a week. Once you start to see mold appear, it's very important to throw it out. But if you do have alcohol at home, you just need to squirt a little bit in there. Please ask for a parent's permission before doing this so that way you don't waste it. And what I'm gonna do is just add just a little bit to that mixture. If we look at this mixture, it's only been in there for a couple seconds and we can already see the color start to drain from the marker. I'm gonna let these sit for about 24 to 48 hours. And thank you so much boys and girls for tuning in and participating in this lesson. Make sure that you upload examples of your watercolor paint that you've created at home using your dried markers and water. Bye boys and girls. See you next time.